Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. In this video, we are going to talk about how to use the simple subd command to make this ring band with the organic cutout in there. Are you ready? Let's get started. We're going to start at the front view and uh, snapping a circle at um, zero and I'm going to type it 16 as a diameter right there. And from there, we are going to come into the subd tool. And in the subd tool, you have this called torus. And we're going to click on this one. Snapping into the zero. But before you snapping, we want to look at the top right here. I'm setting up for face for 16 which is the face going to go all the way around. The vertical face, I'm going to keep it as a 6. And then you can change those numbers later on to see uh, how many faces you do want to have on your torus. So that's snapping into the 0 again in the front view. And I'm going to come in here for half of my thickness for the ring, for whatever that's going to be. And I'm going to click it right here. And moving my mouse back to snapping into here, the ring, so then that will fit into our ring size. So now we can see they are uh, a simple ring band right here. It's just simply brown. The next thing is I want to make a copy by dragging the gumball to whatever thickness that you want and hit the Alt key on my keyboard. So then I can duplicate this. Now with this together, we can spontaneous to pick up where we want them to connect. So for example, I'm going to use the bridge command and we're going to pick up the face in between here and maybe the one next to it on the other side of a ring band and then they will connect it like this now if you want to have a control in the middle to edit the thickness then you may want to uh, increase in the seg uh, segment here and then let's click ok so what we can do is then we can come and pick up this line over here and then we can simply just want the scale it down so that way you can get this type of the um the bridge so let me do one more time and I want to this time talk about a little bit more in in depth. So let's go to use the bridge command. So it's the icon right here. It's called bridge mesh or sub D or you can come in over to the command bar and just type it bridge. Either way we'll find it. And then you are going to pick up the same faces. So for example, if I pick up two face here, I need to have a two face right there. Let's go ahead to pick up this face and this face and hit enter. So I pick up two face. I need to have a two face right there. So I'm going to pick up this face and this face and hit enter. So then that's how they well connected. And again, you can increase in the number if you want to, to edit something in the middle. And then uh, let's click OK. And you can pick up the edges right here. Double, if you double click the neighbor and you will select the whole things. Then we can scale it down with the gumball. Maybe move up a little bit. So then we'll get something like that. After that, you just need to keep working to bridge all of them. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit for you to watch me uh, how I completed this ring. All right, so now we have it basic done. We can even thinking about maybe this hole is too big. I want it to be separated. So I actually wanted to have a one go in between, uh, but I don't want to go in like so symmetrical here. So maybe I want to bridge one more time to bridge in between here to here. And again, make the middle part smaller like this and you can keep editing until you find the best shape that you want and after that we're looking at the ring uh, in the render view and if you feel like well this is okay in the middle but i do not want it to be too round on the side what you can do is you can pick up the edge and then uh, coming over here on the top you can select the whole loop like this and then right here we can add the crease so now it become more straight uh, hard edges there 
And we can do the same thing on this side by clicking the whole edges and then we can add the crease on it. All right. And then if you feel like the top right here, this loop right here, and also this loop right here, they need to be a little bit smaller so you don't get that big bump. As you can see that we have uh, more rounding on the top. You can kind of scale it down. So then they will be more flat. So it's up to you like how you like to have your piece look like. So let's take a look on the render view and double check if that's what you're looking for. And if it's, that's what you like, then you can turn this sub B into a poly surface. So we can print it out. Then you will get the poly surfaces from here and that will look exactly the same like sub D. Notice that now it's hard to edit. So I always keep my original one in case I want to edit more and then I can convert it back to the surface again. So I hope you like this simple video. I have a sub D course just published on my website. I will leave the link in the description below. Check out the course. There's a lot more cool stuff in there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.